Hi everyone and welcome. If you are new here, my name is Donna. Lovely to see you. Today is Wednesday, so it's another Winter Wednesday. And today we are making this flip flap belly band for our journals. So it looks like this. It has a top loading pocket here with a tag. Flips open. There's another top loading pocket here with a tag. Flips open again. We have a journaling card over here and a journaling card over there. So that's what we're making today. I have used elements from the kit, my uh, Winter Blues kit, to make this belly band. Um, however, as I always say, that's not necessary at all. Don't feel obliged to buy my kit, but thank you to those who have. But as I say, use whichever paper you want. These are really good because they can be any theme you want. Or there could be no theme at all. Um, you know, anything goes really with them. So they would sit on our page like this. As a belly band. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to go about making one of these. There is a tiny bit of measuring involved, but you know, a small amount. And if I can do it, you all know I hate measuring. If I can do it, you know, <laughs> you can do it, believe me. So let's get started. I'm going to grab my um, scoreboard and then we'll make a start. I used coffee dyed copy paper to make the base of mine you will need two bits and we're going to score and fold them in exactly the same way on each one so i'm going to bring my scoreboard in and i'm actually going to put it towards the bottom because after saying a couple of videos back that my scoreboard only has inches I discovered it doesn't, it actually has centimetres, but they're right at the bottom. So I need to um, have this bit on, on camera because I'm going to be working in centimetres. I will tell you what the equivalent is in inches as well. So I'm going to put my copy paper on like that. Now, the width of your belly band is entirely up to you obviously it needs to fit comfortably within your like your page if you were doing a signature so as long as it fits comfortably in there you can make this width you know whatever size you want I have been doing it at seven centimeters because I feel like seven centimeters works nicely and seven centimetres, it's a bit awkward having to work at the bottom, but I suppose, I think we are memory keepers, is American, is it? So it makes sense that the inches are kind of priority. So seven centimetres, I'm just following it up, it's two and three quarters of an inch, okay? So seven centimetres, which is the same as two and three quarters of an inch. So I'm going to score it seven. Now I need another two panels the same. So you want three panels the same width. So whichever width you've decided to make this, just count another two multiples of that number. Um, so I'm going to do seven, 14, which is five and can't see five eighths, I think. Can't see it clearly. Well, it might be five and a half. Hang on. Five and a half. So what I'm going to do, seven, 14, and 21. And in inches, that is eight and a quarter. Okay, so I've got my three panels there. 7, 14, 21, 
equal width. I'm going to cut off this bit here because we don't need it. So I'm just going to turn this around. I'm going to line this up and I'm just going to cut that off. I hope I'm not banging the camera too much. I'm sorry if I am. Okay, so we've got um, three, equal width, three equal widths now, three columns of the same size. Then I have been taking off from the bottom about a centimetre to a centimetre and a half. So that, so that it's going to fit heightways onto my page and I want to leave a little bit of a gap either, either top and bottom. So I've been taking off about a centimetre and a half. So I'm just going to line that up, one and a half centimetres. On the bottom and then that should fit I'll just bring this book back in that should then fit comfortably onto my page okay so as I say if you're working in inches just decide kind of what works for you and if you are using um, a piece of paper which is bigger or smaller than your standard copy paper. Um, again, just do it, you know, sort the measurements out so that you, you know, it fits for what you want. So once you've got your three panels, just fold it in half. Okay, so you want to do that on both of them. So I'm just going to fold it in half so that your, your panels are going vertically. You don't want them going horizontally, okay? So your score line should be vertical and then fold them up like that. So I'm gonna do exactly the same thing on the other piece of paper and then we'll get back together again. Now at this point, you've got your two bits of paper. You've got your three columns going this way and you've folded both in half. Okay, so they they both should be looking identical. And what we're going to do now is a little bit of cutting. And what I'm gonna do to help myself, which I do find does help me a little bit, is I'm going to secure the papers together like that because we want to cut both papers in the same place. So by doing that, it just helps keep them together while you cut. Just because we're gonna be sticking these together in a little while and we want to try and get them the best, that you know, the same size, the best that we can. So I'm, I'm just gonna clip them together. Now I want to keep this panel because if I've opened it up like this, I want to keep this panel here because that's going to fold in. So we're keeping that and we want to keep this panel because that's the one that folds in. So we're keeping that. We're keeping the middle because that's obviously the you know the base of the belly band so we are going to cut this one and this one off so just getting the scissors now on the lines going vertically here I've been cutting on the line because I don't want to cut in and make this section narrower than the top section so I've been cutting on the line
but when I'm cutting across I'm going slightly above the line and that will just leave a little bit of a gap so that when we're flipping the sections I mean only slightly above but when we're flipping the sections it give, just gives us a little bit of a gap so that they're not catching on each other so that one's off and we're going to get rid of this one so again I'm just going to cut on the line you could use a craft knife this is slightly difficult to see I'm managing but I could probably cut it straighter and on this one I'm going just under that line like that so that when we fold them in they will fold without um, catching on each other okay um, so once we've done that just let me I think I've gone a little bit off the line there Once we've done that, there's two ways you can go about the next bit. You can either stick your pockets down now and then decorate, or you can decorate and then do your pockets. I, on this one, I stuck all my pockets together and then I matted them, but as you can see, I struggle to then get my hole punch back through to recut the little piece of paper there. So an option is to get all your pockets glued together first and then just make your paper shorter. I don't really like the look of that so I just left it how it was. So I think on this one I'm actually going to mat um, the, the sections first and then I can do my hole punching after. So let's just fold everything in so that it's the way it needs to be. At this point, if you notice, for example, that some of your sections, some of your paper isn't quite meeting, I just think it's just the bottom on this one, then you can just tidy that up um, I think it's more likely to happen if you're using coffee dye paper, to be honest, because obviously it kind of shrinks and and things, doesn't it, when you've, you've added water to it. So I'm just going to remove this paper clip. I'm going to turn it that way. Just going to get my spare board and... A metal ruler and I'm just going to tidy that up okay and that looks okay to me yeah all right so let's put the lid back on there before there's any accidents move this back out of the way So now we're all sorted like that, I'm going to cut some papers so that they fit onto my sections. Now let's just mark out, where did I put my pencil, here it is, let's just mark out where we need to put paper. So these two bits here are going to join here and here to make a pocket so we want to mat there these two bits of paper are going to join to make a pocket so we want to mat there we don't need to do anything on the insides because they're going to be stuck together so we can leave those you're going to have that visible this visible because that will be a side pocket and this visible because that will be a side pocket there okay so we want now these should be the same size this one might be a bit 
smaller because I have cut a tiny bit off the bottom but you know they're round about the same size so we're going to want one, two, three, four, five, six bits of paper to cover our sections so I'm just going to have a look through my papers here and I'm just going to choose some bits that look interesting or you know sections that I think might fit on without me having to cut too much into the papers so I think there's one here yeah that's what I'm looking for there's this fab this this Merry Christmas which I thought might look nice on here maybe like that and it, it you know it's around about the correct size so what I'm going to go away and do now um, is is have a look at my papers and cut to size the papers that I need for each of my one two three four five six sections again I can't really give measurements because it just depends on what size of paper you're using and how much you've had to cut off to kind of even them out a little bit but just for those who kind of are maybe a little bit newer to it I'll just give you a quick just maybe on this top one I'll just go over quickly how I how I go about measuring my papers so I'm quite a lazy not lazy actually you know it's not lazy actually I just don't like measuring so what I would do is kind of just just indicate for myself the size of my paper so it's about this and all I would do is then just cut just inside that mark just so it allows me to leave a little bit of a border so I will show you quickly if I can find my ruler yeah there it is so all I'm going to do is just rip at that line like that and then I can I was going to put it on there but I think I might want it on the bottom what I would then do is put it on so that I've got an edge here and an edge here. Then I just fold up. Can you see am I at the bottom? I just fold up where I'm going to want that to stop. And again, I just get my, I do it this side so I can see a bit clearer. Just get my ruler. like that so now I've got my three sides done and again I just fold like that not done a very good job I'll just cut that off where was that fold line Like that, and then that should that should fit with a little border around, and yes, it does. Okay, so that that's literally how I go about um, measuring. I have kept this on because I'm trying to keep it all together. So if I can locate the other one, I will put the other one back onto here just to keep it together while I'm doing all my measuring and things. So I'm going to go ahead and do all of my bits for here. I will probably also ink them and get them stuck down as well. Then we'll come back together and I will show you how to um, actually glue your pockets together. I'm all stuck down now. These are the papers that I've chosen. So I've got these ones on the front. And then for the inside, 
I have chosen these ones. So now we are going to put our notches in for our pockets. So if you remember, we're going to have a top pocket here and a top pocket here. So our notch needs to go in the front section here. You can go through both if you want. I just like to go through this front one and then leave, you know, just leave it as it is at the back. So I've been using this circle punch. Um, it's just under an inch. I think so it's it's quite a nice size for these pockets and hopefully it's dry enough so yeah so then that would make your pocket there like that I'm going to do the same in the top here like that then we need to do our side pockets. So our side pocket is here. So let's just get rid of that for the time being. And we can just put a notch in the side. About there. And I'm gonna line that back up again. No, I'm all moved. I've moved. Let's get it lined up back up again. It's not a big deal if it moves. It just makes it easier. It helps it to fold. If it's um, sitting where it should. Okay, and then let's make this side notch here. I might try and do it with the paper clip still on just about right so let's do the side one about there okay so while we can let's just get a little bit of ink on those notches before we glue I've been using this pumice stone again it's what I've used to um, go around the edges of all these papers so let's do this notch here you don't have to do a notch if you don't want to I just like to do them it's going to do that as well while I'm here that one let's do this top one and I'll just do that there and let's do the side ones come apart now Put back on and let's just do this side one here Apologies, I try not to ink on camera, but it's not worth stopping just for the sake of doing this little bit, so I'll just get this done. Okay, right, so I'm just going to make sure we're all nice and lined up again so that it's going to fit. 
bit together nicely when we come to glue it, which we shall be in a moment. Make sure it's folding at the right place. Put this back on. Okay, so now it literally is just a case of gluing our pockets down. So, this obviously is going to fold like this. So, we want glue here, here, and here. So, I'm going to get some glue out. Use whichever glue you like. Try and get a thin, as thin of um, a stripe of glue as possible. Obviously, it just gives you more room in your pocket. With the other one, um, my glue came out a bit thick and I was struggling to get things in and out. Come on. Okay, so, yeah, just try and go easy on the glue. Because that will just give you a little bit of ro extra room my glue ever decides to come out here we go so one two three okay and it might just be worth having some tissue for mopping up any excess like we've got here okay let's just make sure that's nice and stuck together okay we can now do this one side one so because it's a side one, for this we want glue along, let me see if I can get it at an angle. So along here, the back and here. You may get away with not doing it at the back because you've just glued, um, you know, you've just glued that other one down. So you might just get away with doing two like this. And stick that down. So that's giving you your side pocket there. And we're going to do it exactly the same going across. Now on this panel, I've the piece of paper I just cut as one big panel. On this one I didn't. I treated it as um, two separate ones. So again, that, that's up, entirely up to you. Um, I've obviously glued along there, so it's going to work as two big, as two separate pockets. It's just I just decided to use one. Um, one long piece of paper. So we'll get this one glued. Come on, these, honestly, my glue's at the minute. Okay, so along there, this is gonna be our top one. So we want along the bottom and along the two edges. I think it's moved a tiny bit there so that's it I'm just going to move it back to where it needs to be okay and then let's do this last one and you'll just need it down this side That's our flippy, flappy belly band done. 
Okay, so then we left with a pocket here and a pocket here and we open those up and we've got our side pocket here and our side pocket there. Now all I did for the journaling cards was I just used an interesting bit of the, the, the collage papers for this one and I just cut it to size to fit in and this is one of the pictures from the cut apart page again I just cut it to size to fit inside the pockets the tags are from the kit and they are the medium sized tags now with these pockets that I have made these panels that I have made which are um, seven centimeters they just about fit perfect actually I did have to cut it down a little bit just to make sure they got in and out smoothly just on the sides and I did cut the height down a little bit as well sorry I was off camera then yeah I was just saying um, I cut down the slight size slightly I mean ever so slightly and I cut down the height ever so slightly as well but those are the medium tags for the kit so if you do a similar length, a similar width to me, seven centimetres, and I'm sorry, I can't remember what it was in inches, was it? I don't know. I can't remember what it was, but I did mention at the beginning, then those medium tags from the kit should fit. If not, you know, use any tags that you've got or use an interesting part of the, the collage paper that you like and make a tag. Um, you know, it's entirely up to you what what you choose to do with that but that's essentially our kit our uh, belly band made so I don't want to put this in and out too much because it's still drying but just to show you what this is going to look like so we've got room for a tag there and there we've got a side pocket here whoops I'm still a bit sticky and a bit wet so We've got the side pocket there and the side pocket there and we're done. Now if you wanted to you could get some twine, see what I've got here and you could perhaps glue some twine on the back before you put it down as a belly band and you could tie it closed if you wanted to like that. Um, you could also back it on some spare card or some glue book pages if you've got any spare to strengthen it a little bit as well. Um, you could just have it um, like free, you know, floating and just have, um, just have it paper clipped onto a page I'm trying to find a page here I've got so many things from when we did the full book challenge um, yeah so you could have it floating and just paper clip it in like that so loads of different options obviously then you could just put it in like that as a regular belly band as well so for decorating I've just pulled a few bits out there are some illustrations that didn't make it to the Winter Blues kit for whatever reason. I have them on a separate sheet, so I will try and put those up as a freebie on my Kofi page at some point. I don't want to overload it too much because I really like the illustrations. So as you can see on this one... I've just put a few labels on. These are the labels that we printed the other day. And you may have seen my short where I showed you what I did with some of them. It's called Level Up Your Stamped. I think it's called Level Up Your Stamped Labels. So I just chose one of those and a blank one as well. I've used a little circle one here and I've just put 25th of December on there in a stamp and I've chosen just a part, a part of a label to go here 
and the negative from a die cut there and then this lady she is from one of the images in the kit so let's just quickly put a few of these things onto here I'm running short on time my husband has um, the sea <laughs> and isn't feeling well at all so I am on school run so I don't have an awful lot of time left so let's just see whoops what I can get done in the next five minutes or so sorry I'm just gluing off off, um, <clears throat> off camera so I want that to go there and I want her to kind of go there move her over a little bit so her arms on that's it bit of ink around here and a bit of glue now I forgot to say I should have said this at the beginning I'm very sorry that I didn't this idea is from a channel called Clarty Hands. Well, at least that's where I saw the idea anyway. I think I have done it slightly different to her, um, as you know, as we all do when we take inspiration. But that's that is where I saw the original um, idea for this. So I will link her channel in my description box. I'm really sorry, I should have said that at the beginning. I always like to credit who I get my ideas from. I wasn't trying to, um, you know, to avoid doing that. I just completely forgot. But yeah, Clarty Hands. So I link her. She's a nice channel. She comes up with some really great ideas, but she, she kind of does them in really quick little videos, like 10, 15 minutes. So if you're short on time, but you're wanting to um, get some nice ideas, it's a really good channel to watch. Um, so yeah, clarty hands, okay? Right, so I've also got some of these stamps. Again, these images didn't make it into the kit, but I think I'm going to put this one here to bring some of the peach, you know, those peachy tones in that I've been liking. And I think I'll put that one there just to bring those colours out. So again, a quick bit of ink. Give it a bit of definition. I'm going off. I'm going off screen again to do my sticking. So yeah, if anyone of you have has made any of these um, ideas, don't and you've 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 done it on video. Don't forget to use the hashtag and tag me. Then I'll be able to watch. And I haven't done yet. I did tell you about this last time. Um, they will very soon be an Instagram page where you can tag me on that as well. I'll let you know on the community post once I've set that up. Um, but yes, don't don't forget to tag me. Um, I forgot to say as well on the back of these cards. I have just used coffee, paper, and the same on the tags. Oops, that one's got a nice pattern on it. Okay, so that's all I've done for backing those. And do we want a label of some kind up there? Probably, but do I have time? Do I have time to go looking for one? It's a bit grungy. I could just put a nice 
blank one like that, couldn't I? Or perhaps one like that. These are all from the ones that we stamped the other day. It can't go like that, can it? But one in a slightly lighter colour. Mm. It's too big. So this is the part of the video where you watch me move labels around. That's quite nice. It's quite a nice one. But yeah, once you've got these labels cut out, they're just ready to go. What about a round one? Because we've got round here, haven't we? Good. If I got up just a plain blank round label, excuse me, reaching over. Let's see what we've got. I'm sure I must have a circle somewhere. Have I not? Did I not leave any circles blank? Doesn't look like I did. Right, well, I think I'm going to use a circle there. I will have to... I will have to... Um, stamp another one, I think, because it doesn't look like I've got any left. So... I will do that off camera, um, but yeah, essentially that's it really, I, you know, I've not been putting too much onto, onto the paper in terms of decoration, um, again, just an image here from the kit, some negatives, that's a larger version of um, this. Um, blue stamp here, that was one of the images that didn't quite make it into the kit so again that will probably be on a freebie page if I get around to adding that and I just added a little sticker here a stamp sorry and some doily and a snowflake so not an awful lot done but you know just that little just those little extras to kind of just make it your own so I'm going to find a label for here and then and uh, then I'll, I'll be I'll be finished so I hope you enjoyed that just another little idea that we can add to our stash um, let me know if you've made one and until next time take care of yourselves and I'll see you then bye